Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of January 8th. So before we jump in, our winner of that beautiful hand-blown glass jewelry from last week and the lapis lazuli is Elizabeth CV. So congrats to you. Now I've got another gift for you this week just in time for the new moon coming in Capricorn. I planned this out. I'm so excited about it. So I have got for you guys this package this week from our friends at Azure Green. Bath Solds, they're charged. This is the Earth Packet. Now this is so exciting. If you've never used a purification or a salt bath that's already charged, you are missing out. Like you guys know I'm a big fan of like things that are energetically sound and these just Oh, it's first of all smells gorgeous and second of all feels amazing. So I decided to do this this way because three days before the new moon, I will usually do a salt bath, a ritual bath in some way, shape, or form. It's about purification. It's about getting me ready for this new moon where I'm going to plant these seeds of intention or a full moon, depending on which one I'm working with. Now, this one being in the sign of Capricorn, of course, the earth packets are the best, as well, along with this beautiful charged packet that you can do three days, put it all in the bath at once, however you want to do it. There's beautiful instructions on the back, okay? I have also charged personally for you a sodalite and a hematite. And I chose the sodalite because the sodalite is beautiful for grounding the mind, for giving you some clarity to look at your own really nice self-evaluation of your strengths, your weaknesses, your motivations. It takes you with the journey. I like sodalite when it comes to working with earth energies. It's just very, very grounding. Now, I also did the hematite because really hematite is traditionally associated with Mars, the god of war, right? Or the... Um, warring kind of energies because it's a protection stone but really hematite is ruled by saturn so perfect pairing of energies blue blue and white i absolutely love them so those are up for grabs this week so if you'd like to win those all you have to do is like this video comment share and subscribe it this week and you'll be in the running to grab this now let's talk about what's actually happening up in the sky this week all right According to the ephemeris this week, we've got, oh, the sun is meeting up with both Venus and Pluto this week. Mercury changes signs this week. That's lovely. And Venus is going to come into a square with Uranus. So let's start at the beginning of the week. Right here, Tuesday, January 9th. So the sun who's over here in Capricorn is first going to come into contact with Venus, then with Pluto. But then you have this trio of energy of sun, Venus, Pluto. So what happens in this energy? I love this because this is a beautifully transformative energy. You'll have it for about a week. And it's this energy that says, even if something looks like a mess it can be transformed and brought back to life it is love genuine love it is genuine openness it is genuine honesty that brings these things back around so if you've had something going on in your life and it has looked like it is breaking down Maybe it is breaking down because it is trying to give birth to something else and have its new breakthrough, okay? So you've got this energy to work with for a week. Now, as we continue to journey this week, um, we've got Mercury changing signs and coming into Capricorn. This is happening on January 11th. Now, Mercury and Capricorn, our conversation gets a little bit more serious, right? We're going to have a more serious energy. Saturn has just not too long ago come into Saturn, so or come into Capricorn, so we're having a new energy. So this could be a very serious kind of conversation this week. You're communicating um, serious things. You're writing, whatever the communication style looks like. Maybe you're needing to consider, not maybe not fully make decisions, but consider some things very seriously, maybe differently than you had before, right? Saturn has just come into a new sign. It is showing you the cracks, in whatever house it is showing up in for you. It is showing you the cracks in things that are not working. You have to start thinking more seriously about them. And some of that thinking with Mercury and Saturn can look very depressive, very pessimistic, very fear-based, very, oh my God. And here's the thing, you go where the fear is at right? Where are you afraid to go? Move towards that. Evaluate those thoughts and bring in an outside resource. If you are afraid and you don't know what the heck you're doing, ask someone who's been there already. And if you don't know somebody, get on the internet, look up these groups, these websites of people who are already doing the things that you're now experiencing. Beautiful energy though, okay? Now, Venus, Uranus at the end of the week on Saturday, the 13th, are going to come into a square. So, 
Venus being about relationships, harmony, diplomacy, things like that. Uranus is about breaking down structures, but Uranus is also very social. So you could see some issues or unexpected things popping up in your social relationships, or maybe there's even um, some event that happens that precipitates a new conversation, um, that precipitates a new sense of something in the relationship or something like that. But whatever it is, um, I think there could be some challenges to some relationships this week at the level of being social for sure. So this could also mean, you know, online, maybe there's a thing. Maybe it's not a great time to be texting a very big decision. If you're having a conversation in a relationship, whether it be business or romantic or with your children, maybe it's best to just go on ahead and get on the phone instead of trying to text about it or something like that. So consider these things this week. I don't think it's a horrible week, but man, Saturn has made that move, you guys, and the lights are coming on and it's all for the good. And it doesn't have to be a heavy week, but it is certainly a week where we have to pay attention. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to get signed up for $3 Thursdays. There's only one more week to register for um, the $3 Thursday in January, which is happening January 18th. We're going to be talking about business timing in astrology. So make sure you get signed up for $3 Thursday. If you don't know what that is, click in the description box down below to not only get signed up, but to check it out as well. And I will see you guys in there, okay? Love you guys. Have a great week.